So we're going to continue our lessons and today we're going to talk about um, adjustments and adjusting the accounts. This is chapter 8 and it is a very critical uh, component of accounting. So far we have learned a lot about during the year what happens and today we will learn about what happens at the end of this fiscal year of a business and how to adjust certain accounts. So you have to get familiar with certain ter terminology. Uh, adjusting accounts is very, very critical to a company's accounting and records and we will talk about some of the, the, the processes. So the agenda for today is, as you can see, the adjustment process and we're going to talk about a couple of uh, um, uh, generally accepted accounting principles including the time period concept, the revenue recognition principle, the matching principle and then how all of that relates to the accrual basis of accounting and then I will explain to you five types of adjusting entries that we're uh, learning in this chapter and their types and uh, we will also talk about closing entries in this chapter. So the adjusting process, uh, it, as I mentioned it's very critical for the financial statements to be accurate uh, and current and consistent from year to year. These three concepts are part of GAAP as well, accuracy, currency and consistency. So they need to be accurate, current and consistent uh, when the year ends and from that year to the next year. Responsibility for financial statements to be accurate, to be current and to be consistent falls uh, on the company's accountants. So the company's internal accountants, not the external accountants, the internal accountants are very much responsible for how everything is reported and their accuracy. Accountants must ensure that all accounts are brought up to date, which means that if there's anything they need to do to adjust those accounts, they are done. Late transactions are taken into account because there's always things that happen a few days after the company year, company's uh, year end. Calculations are correct and that accounting principles are all followed. So the accountants must adjust the accounts done through adjusting journal entries which brings the accounts up to date. So the journal entries, the adjusting of the journal entries is very critical. It brings all the accounts up to date for that year end and it ensures that all accounting principles are followed. Talking about accounting principles, time period concept uh, is a concept which tries to uh, ensure that the company's accounting records are broken into different time periods. So we talked about this prior uh, as well and basically what it tries to say is that you have to have a beginning of a fiscal period, you have to have an ending of a fiscal period and then you can start a new fiscal period once the first one or the previous one ends. So that's how time period concept is, is related to accounting but the more important one here we need to talk about is the revenue recognition principle. Remember from a, a few lessons earlier as well, uh, revenue is recognized when it is earned, not when cash is received. So revenue must be recognized as soon as it is earned or as late as it is earned, not when cash changes hands. Cash is just the sign that someone had owed you money and they're just paying that off to you right now. So it is extremely uh, uh, critical that we follow this. Sometimes in service businesses or even in, in product based or construction businesses, clients pay or they must pay the business prior to starting the work. So they're paying in advance and that happens as well. The cash is paid in advance, not afterwards. So we have to have some kind of a journal entry to record that as well and we will go over those journal entries in a few minutes. So the next concept that is very critical is the matching principle. So revenue recognition principle deals with revenues. Matching principle deals with the expenses of the company. The expenses must be matched to the revenues in that fiscal period. The expenses must be matched to the revenues in that fiscal period. Otherwise, it will not balance at the end or they are not accurate enough. So for example, if you have used certain supplies during that year, you need to be able to match that as an expense towards the revenue for that year. Okay? That will make more sense to you in a few minutes once we do some journal entries as examples. 
Same things happen with regards to assets. So there's loss of assets that you use during the year. Now at the end of the year, you must do adjusting entries to ensure that those are, some of those things are expensed as far as that is concerned to match the revenues of that year. So this concept of revenue recognition principle and matching principle and to ensure the revenue is recorded when it is earned and to ensure the matching principle is followed as far as expenses are concerned. This concept is called the accrual basis of accounting. If we were not following this, if we were make, uh, following the fact that when cash comes in you record it as revenue, that would be called the cash basis of accounting. We do not follow that. That is not part of accounting. We follow the accrual basis of accounting. Revenue must be recognized when it is earned, not when cash is received. So that concept itself is, is sufficient enough for you to follow the accrual basis of accounting. So now let's talk about what adjusting entries we're going to talk about in this chapter or in this lesson. There are five types of adjusting entries. You can take a look at the accounts that will be affected or the types of uh, accounts that will be affected. Uh, number one, supplies. Number two, prepaid expenses. Number three, unearned revenue. Number four, late arriving purchase invoices. And number five, amortization. So as I had mentioned earlier, some of this terminology will be brand new to you. Uh, uh, some of this uh, you may have already uh, learned about in the past, but I'd like you to understand all these things fairly easily and fairly quickly. So. What, uh, what do we mean by supplies as the adjusting entries type? So you can see some of the explanation here. Supplies, we need to record those supplies as an expense that have been used. So you have used some supplies, but the usage has not been recorded. That means that now you have to record those supplies as an expense. What do we mean by prepaid expenses? So sometimes the uh, uh, the, uh, the vendor, we call them vendors such as landlord, such as your insurance company, such as your, uh, uh, if you're making car payments, the company that you make your car payments to. A lot of these uh, vendors, a lot of these suppliers are looking to take money from you earlier on rather than later. So you pay your rent in advance. You pay your insurance in advance. So these are prepaid expenses. If you have paid for two years of insurance in advance, you cannot record all the two years right away as an expense. Neither could you, uh, could you record uh, all of them at the end. So you have to record them for the year. So when you pay for it, it is a prepaid expense. Prepaid expense is a type of an asset account. Prepaid expense is a type of an asset account, which means that you hold on to it you can take it back if you need to. If you cancel the uh, the policy, if you cancel the agreement, they will the, the other party will return it back to you. So it's like a sometimes it can be uh, th thought of as an accounts receivable, but it's not because accounts receivable is revenue that that someone has to pay you. This is something that you have paid in advance, and you might take it back later on. So I'll explain to you how the entries work there. Unearned revenues is the opposite. This is where you have collected money from your clients or customers in advance for various reasons. And now you hold on to this money and the, the client or the customer can actually ask for it back. So if they ask for it back, you have to give it to them. So unearned revenue is a liability account. Eventually you will earn it. Eventually the prepaid expenses will become an expense. Right? Eventually the unearned revenue will become revenue. But at this point it's not. They are considered an asset and a liability account. Late arriving purchase invoices, expenses uh, that have been incurred, but then invoices arrive late. So you have to record them for the previous year. For example, telephone expense uh, invoice usually arrives like 15 days after. So you have to record it for the previous month. And amortization. Amortization is where you are allocating the cost of long-term assets to the expense account over its useful life. So I'll explain that to you in detail as we get to it. There's a lot of complications about amortization, but we'll only talk about one type of amortization so you have an idea. Now, as far as some of the journal entries are concerned, so for supplies, I'm giving you a scenario and I'm trying to explain to you in this slide 
what would the original entry be which you have recorded during the year and what would the adjusting entry be as far as the end of the year is concerned. So you can see that you buy supplies throughout the year uh, worth $10,000 and uh, there is only $3,000 left which means that $7,000 has been used. So at the beginning as you are buying them, as you buy the supplies, you debit supplies and credit cash or accounts payable, right? So debit supplies, credit cash. That is what you are uh, do, you, you, uh, doing as far as when you purchase the supplies. But at the end of the year, there's only $3,000 that is left, which means that $7,000 has been used up. So you have to move the $7,000 from, from the supplies asset account into the supplies expense account. Okay? So you have to remove uh, the, the ones that you've used up from the asset account to the expense account. So the adjusting entry would be debit supplies expense, credit supplies. You're reducing the supplies account, which is the asset account, and you are increasing the supplies expense account. That's how you adjust these accounts. So this is a type of an example, with a, sorry, this is an example of a type of a, a, a adjusting journal entry and there's a few more that we will have to go through.